Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a video on this look that I'm wearing right now, but with a twist. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to also do my mascara makeup routine. So it's gonna be kind of an old routine, mascara routine, um, like versus each other kind of video. So I'm really excited for that. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And please don't forget to like it if you like it and to share this video and subscribe. And also there will be plenty of links in the description box if you guys are interested in interested in any of the products that I'm wearing, whether they're mascara or not. They will all be linked down below. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to see my old routine versus my mascara routine, then okay, just keep so watching. To start, I have taken my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation on a damp beauty blender. Um, so, I'm just gonna blend that out. And I know it's super white, but we'll bronze it up. Um, L'Oreal True Match. Okay. And I just like to get some on my finger. Um, and I just put this on like the outskirts of my face. Um, just to darken everything up a little bit. Just add some dimension. So then I am going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color medium and it's like pretty much gone. And I'm honestly not doing any more than I would do on a regular basis. Like this is literally how I do would do my makeup before mascara, which is what I wanted to show you guys. Okay, my camera died and I did have to blend my concealer on this side because I found that Tarte Shape Tape does dry fairly fast on my skin, so yeah, but I'm back. <laughs> I just had to put some new batteries in the camera. Okay, so now that I have this all blended, I am going to take my um, Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder in the shade Golden. Can you say hi, Bugs? Can you say hi?
Bexley's gonna sit up here with us. <laughs> Can you say hi? So anyways, I'm gonna let that bake. And while that is baking, I am going to contour. And I'm going to use my contouring palette from Wet n Wild. Um, my face, I'm going to use this e.l.f. powder brush. One thing that I'm like, because I haven't done my makeup this way in a long time, like even before mascara I hadn't done my makeup in a long time. And one thing that I'm already hating besides how long it's taking is how dry I look. Um, so then to dust off my powder, I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush. I am going to use my NYX blush, which Tate and stepped on the other day, so the glass is broken. But this is in the shade Terracotta, and I love this blush. It is um, definitely a fave of mine. So for my blush, I'm going to use this Too Faced little guy. Um, Because I'm trying to like go with kind of a goldy, summery kind of feel to highlight, I'm going to use something different. I have this Poppin' Pigment from Hard Candy, so I'm going to be using that. colors I use MAC cork I use MAC brulee and I use Smashbox sand so I'm gonna start with cork on a Sigma e40 take this Mally brush and I'm gonna take Mac Brulee and I'm just gonna go on my lid and then I take my E40 and the um, cork one more time and I just blend that crease Then I'm going to take this pencil brush, which is also from Sigma. I'm going to go back into cork. And just do my lash line. This is my makeup routine with my regular makeup. But you can see that I am just literally using, um, I just found stuff in mascara that matched my old makeup and that is how I um, use this now. So then I'm gonna take the multitasker and this is Sabrina right here. You can see it is more of a shimmer. And I just use it on this flat brush. And then 
I take the other end and I go back into basic and just blend that. And then I do my brows the exact same. So I use this LA Colors eyebrow pencil. It is in the shade dark. We are going to plop on our mascara, actual mascara. The actual mascara makeup is super, super, First of all, check that highlight though. Um, it's super creamy. I know it's a cream formula, but it feels so good on the skin. It's so moisturizing. My skin, um, it doesn't feel heavy. With my old makeup routine, it kind of just felt like I took a mask and just plopped it on my face, you know? It was itchy, it was drying, it felt constricting. And even after I load up on setting spray, um, my old makeup just made me feel so dry and I did not like that at all. Um, I know I do use a matte foundation, but even after setting spray it shouldn't make me feel dry. I know it looks dry, but it shouldn't make me feel so dry. And um, I noticed like in my cheek areas where I have more breakouts, it looks worse when it's matte and better when it's cream. So with mascara, and I'm honestly not just saying this because I'm an artist, I'm, I truly love mascara. I love the way it applies, I love the way it looks at the end of the day, I love how it just makes me look so fresh. So with mascara, um, you can see that it is cream, everything is cream based, and it really just brings that moisture back into your skin, and I know that a lot of women um, are kind of hesitant with mascara because it is cream so if you're oily that doesn't seem like it would go that well together but it does I am so oily my skin is so oily which is why I always lean towards a more matte foundation because I do have so much oil in my skin but with a matte foundation when you put matte with oil it dries your skin out and it kind of tricks your skin into thinking that it needs to produce more, more oil. So in the end, you're going to end up looking more oily than if you were to use something that isn't mattifying. Um, I know that's confusing, but skin is weird. So yeah, I've noticed with mascara, I don't, I get oily, honestly, like I do. Um, I have oily skin, but I, it takes longer for my skin to look oily when I'm using mascara, if that makes sense. So, yeah, all in all, I love mascara, like I said. Um, but yeah, I truly do love the switch to um, Mascara Beauty, and everything that I need was right here. You guys saw, like, I have my face here, and my eyes there, and then these are just like a bronzing and a setting powder. But yeah, I have like literally everything that I could ever need is in this one palette yeah I will have links to everything like I said down below including my old makeup routine because I did spend a lot of money on that makeup so I want to share that with you guys too um, because I know there's a lot of people that maybe prefer the makeup that I was using in my old routine um, but trust me when I say if you try mascara first of all message me and we will get you color matched but once you try mascara, I know you will love it. And just because you use mascara doesn't mean that you have to throw away your old makeup. It doesn't mean that you just have to use mascara. Like, of course not. That's not how it works. But it's just nice to have this option. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of a different video here on my channel. But I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of my old routine to my new routine because I just figured that would be super fun. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!